Boxing is the only sport where you can lose literally every second of every round and still find a way to hit that 10-run home run in the final seconds and win. It's the only place where a massive underdog can land that lottery punch that changes the course of the sport. There is nothing more definitive in boxing than a knockout. And despite the coronavirus pandemic, and in this video, I've compiled some of the best knockouts in the boxing ring. Valdez vs. Burchelt Valdez, a former WBO featherweight title holder and two-time Olympian, scored a significant upset against Burchelt at the MGM Grand, rocking him with a left hook in the final second of the 10th round in an immediate favorite for knockout of the year. Cap it, folks! That was human dynamite! Absolutely explosive! Getting out of range, beautiful setup, boom, right on the chin. Lamana versus Lara. Eris Landy Lara promised to knock Thomas Lamana out in four rounds or less. Lara didn't waste time fulfilling his pledge, delivering a highlight reel first round knockout of Lamana in the main event of Saturday's Fox PBC Fight Night card. Let me tell you, Romano was saying that, you know, he was concerned about uh, Laura's left hand and he didn't see it. Smith versus Castillo. Following his first professional loss against Canelo Alvarez, Smith moved up in weight and made his debut in the light heavyweight division against former WBA title challenger Lennon Castillo. On the undercard of Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk on 25 September 2021, Smith defeated Castillo via a brutal second round knockout that resulted in the latter being stretchered out of the ring. Wilder vs. Fury 3 The fight involved Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder was huge and the build to it was even bigger given that this was the trilogy fight between the two legendary boxers. The first fight ended in a controversial draw with many thinking the Brit had done enough to outpoint his American rival despite being heavily floored in the final round. Fury won the second bout, though, scoring a seventh-round TKO in a highly anticipated rematch. The third fight also delivered, with both fighters hitting the canvas multiple times before Fury won via knockout in the penultimate round. So it's like, all yeah. right, you're gonna go and do that. I'll respond. Boom! Boom! Goes the big right hand. Fury applied more forward pressure in the 11th round as he hurt Wilder repeatedly at range and in the clinch. Nearing a minute into the round, Fury landed a clean right hand to Wilder's temple, causing the challenger to collapse to the floor. I will say this though, look at when Fury lands. He throws, but he uses some of his forearm with it. He throws the right. That was clean. Well, that was clean, that yeah. Was clean, but there right. was, I mean, backwards. I meant a little bit going backwards, but bang. Oh my God. That's a highlight reel. Woo! What it's a, a highlight knockout. reel. Campbell versus Cobb. Antoine Cobb's incredible KO sends Jerry and Campbell into the ropes. Right here. And he's hand on Jerry on Campbell. Yeah, Bernardo was all set up with that jab, but then he came with the, the jab and then the right hand as Campbell warmed up. But that's not Cobb's problem. Cobb took 
complete control and advantage of Campbell out of position, leaning back, and he followed Campbell. Hollyfield versus Stanford. In this bout, the junior middleweight champion took place on October 23rd to 24th in Atlanta, USA. In the ring, Matt, the son of famous Evander Hollyfield, a prospect without defeats, Evan Hollyfield versus Charles Stanford. Hollyfield scored an emphatic second round knockout over Charles Stanford in the undercard of Shakur Stevenson versus Jamal Herring. Think about that job. I never wanted to do it. This is what he wants to do. Crowd's going. I know he's open. Block. Miss. Jab. You see him looking. Boom. Set that shot up right there. It only takes one with a follow up right hand for good measure. It's a great seat. Dubois versus Dinu. Heavyweight prospect Daniel Dubois got back in action and back in the winner's circle, knocking out Bogdan Dinu early in the second round with a big right hook. Things. Yeah, Let's he's, look again. He's absolutely delighted, isn't he? So here we are. He, look, just drifts onto the ropes and then just lets his hands, especially his left hand, Dinu, just drifts down a little bit. So there's an injection of pace here as he goes through the gears and then whip. Sanchez versus Pina. Sergio Sanchez pulled off perhaps one of the greatest knockouts of this year with a well-disguised uppercut. Gustavo Alan Pina was going for a straight jab. However, before he could throw that, Sanchez caught up with an uppercut, knocking him out cold. Beautiful uppercut right there. That left hand had been working over the top, but then he, you, Sanchez turned it underneath right there and just... Cervania versus Cortez. The fight was scheduled to take place over eight rounds in the super featherweight division, which meant the weight limit was 130 pounds. Andres Cortez beat Genesis Cervania by knockout in the first round. Straight right and devastating left hook. Now doing something that neither Carlos Castro nor Oscar Valdez were able to do. Put him away. Yeah, that was a great, that was a fantastic left hook right there. You would tell that Cervania was in a bad position and never saw it coming. Morel versus Cazares. David Morel wasted no time dropping Mario Cazares in their title fight on Fox. Well, that didn't take long. Mario Cazares wanted to make life difficult for WBA World Super Middleweight Champ David Morrell, but after some early scuffling, Morrell dropped the challenger in the first round to win by knockout. Only that, he could have hurt his neck on the way yeah, down on yeah. that bottom rope. That was right on the butt. And, it, and it's the first round when you're not warmed up and used to taking the punches. You know, it's... Uh... Pavetkin versus White, too. Dylan White successfully avenged his shock defeat by Alexander Povetkin with an emphatic fourth round knockout of the Russian in Saturday's eagerly awaited and delayed heavyweight rematch in Gibraltar. And again, and he wobbles again, leaves a left hand against his other. But he's all over the place and picks it up and says, So much respect. Yeah, that is a really nice touch. Cordina versus Hernandez. Welsh boxer Joe Cordina secured a stunning victory over American Joshua Hernandez via a first round knockout. The bout lasted 53 seconds as Cordina ended the 25 year old's hopes. Before the fight start, it was a long time in the corner, Hernandez. He made his ring walk down, got there. It's quite cold here now, out here in the, in the outdoors. Highland versus Hughes. The British lightweight title fight between Maxi Hughes and Paul Highland ended in controversy when the 31 year old turned his back to the ring as a result of a breakdown in communication with the referee. After turning his back in the belief that he had been knocked down and had 10 seconds to recover, Highland was oblivious as Hughes rushed in from behind him and knocked him out cold from over his back shoulder in the eighth round. Lying 
him to, to take the shot. I don't think he's going to get up from that.